Hello everybody, this is Angga Rizky and welcome back to my video. In this video, you will be able to learn how to work with uh, documentation. So, we will using the Bootstrap documentation for create the awesome themes for us okay well you you need to open the official site it's uh, getsbootstrap.com after that we will remove the we will remove the cuts and make it clean okay in the last video about the Bootstrap installation, you have learned about the how to install the Bootstrap. So, in this video, we will using the basic templates from a Bootstrap framework. Okay, we going to CSS. Sorry. We're going to get start and we find the basic template right here. Okay, then we can copy and paste right here. Okay, and we need to change this path location because we have the jQuery, so we don't need to access again from a CDN. Or a Google, okay. So we can change it. Yes, jQuery three dot one dot zero dot main dot js, okay. And then we can change this title with your website. My project where is Angar is key, okay. And you can create the I will create the where right here and create the P Welcome to Bootstrap Framework Gash We save it then preview in our browser Okay, like this, guys. Welcome to Booster Frame of this. Okay, and next, we will learn how to create the navbar using the components. So, this is the basic templates, and we're going to components for our navbar navigation bar. We will using these components for our navbar. So you can see the navbar right here in the right of side menu and this is for navbar a uh, default navbar this is for a uh, brand navbar image and this is for like a uh, fonts navbar and by the button right here or like a uh, dashboard and fix of top and inverse of navbar okay i will use in the default navbar so we can customize it in the next video okay so we copy this and remove the well and press right here Okay, and then we can save and preview again like this space. Okay, we have the navbar right here using the components and is is easy. Okay, so this navbar for our menu and logo. Okay, guys, and now. 
I will tell you about the difference container fluid and the container. Okay, this is using the container fluid. This is using the container fluid. And how about the container? We remove the fluid and refresh like this. Okay, so the fluid is. 90% from a uh, full of width but the container it's only 70% from full of width okay so the difference like this but in the of sorry in this class we will create the portfolio teams using the container not using the container fluid okay so if you want to make the sorry uh, if you want to make the slider we just need going to javascript and going to kerosene and you can copy all of these spots and going to sublime and below of navigation bar, you can press and I hope you can make it clean okay okay we can save it and preview but the problem is I have not yet to add the image right here so the image uh, has not shown because we have not yet to add the image okay so we can using the image we can create the image and work one the png and we can copy this codes and like this save and preview like this but it's uh, it's too small for our slider so it's only example how to use the carousel in the step framework okay so okay guys I hope you can understand this tutorial and if you have a question please let me know and don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment for me okay well see you and goodbye okay <laughs> see you in the next video guys so I catch you later bye